All right, guys. So today uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about ski boots. Um, ski boots are a, are a really essential piece of gear. Um, fit is very important on them um, because you know no matter what you do, if you have even if you have a super nice pair of boots, if they don't fit well, um, you're going to be hurting. Number one, two, you're not going to have as much control because your feet are going to be either way too tight, so obviously they're hurting, or um, they're basically just going to be flopping around. Um, so I always suggest you know just getting a pair of boots that fit super good even if you know even if they're a crappier pair of boots um, as long as they fit good that's kind of your vital piece of equipment right there because um, you know you can have a thousand dollar pair of skis but if your boots are two sizes too big you're you're not going to be happy uh -huh. so yeah uh go over a couple things um one is fit and storage um so your ski boots you know they buckle up um basically when you're storing your boots so this boots all buckle up um this boot is left undone I um, always suggest just keeping them buckled for a couple of reasons. One, obviously it looks better. Two, um, if your buckles are out and loose, they're more likely to, to get broken. Um, and reason three is essentially your, if you look at these two boots, this boot you can see it's all nice and closed up. It's going to hold that shape. This boot is opened up. So you can see it's kind of flexed and open so it's not holding that shape. So basically if I were to leave these two boots as is for you know a couple days to go to the mountain, this boot is going to feel looser than this boot will on your foot. So what you're trying to do is you can basically kind of, I don't want to say mold or shape your boots, but you can essentially do it. So if your boots are way too tight, uh, you can, you know, if you're, if you're on a ski vacation or whatever overnight, leave them undone. And then, you know, it'll have a little bit looser of a fit. It'll be a little bit easier to get into. Uh, but generally speaking, like for me, I know that the second buckle on each is a good spot for me fit wise. So that's where I'm just going to store each one at that second position. That way it holds that shape for me. Uh, but you know, that's where, yeah, if you want your boot to fit a little bit tighter, you could go through and basically just, just crank them down. You know, let's say I want to go a third buckle on each. So now it's going to, the next time I go put on my boots, they're going to feel that a little bit tighter. Um, same with the power strap isn't as necessary. Um, yeah, just get it in there. Makes them look good. Um, keeps them in good condition. Uh, second trick I'll show you guys is the liner. So um, having cold feet is a pretty big bummer. Um, so if you're skiing multiple days in a row, I highly suggest removing your liner and drying it out. So you know your liner removes, so um, you, know, you can shape it to whatever you want. But a nice easy trick is you can basically take both of them out, lay them down if you have a little fan. Just, you know, blow some air into it overnight, something like that. Um, liners are, most of them are thermoformable, uh, which means if you apply heat to them, then they'll basically become pliable and you can shape them. So, you know, in your, don't put them on a heat vent, that sort of stuff, because there's a chance that they'll basically shrink up and, and destroy themselves. Um, but yeah, you can basically take it out. That just helps it dry a lot quicker, you know, from the inside and the outside, so. Um, yeah, that's really it for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, let me know.